Hi, my name is Chantel from Booby Beds Anonymous, where babies love boobies, and welcome to Blog Sunday. Yay! Hey, this is my new feature. Um, I usually write blogs, but since I'm doing YouTube, I thought I'd record the vlog instead so that you can listen to it while you're doing whatever else you're doing. Um, it's not strictly about booby bed, it's more about, you know, motherhood, a bit about breastfeeding as well, as I'm the breastfeeding queen, as I like to call myself, um, and a bit of, just a bit of a general rant of things that, <laughs> you know, about the kids, about the partner, about the house, all that sort of thing, and what it is to be a mumpreneur. A mumpreneur. Okay, so um, today is Mother's Day, woo! Yay to me, Mother's Day! And so I thought I'd do something a bit special today. Um, it's sort of like a, I don't know if I'd call it a poem, because it doesn't rhyme, but it's just like a collection of um, thoughts that came to me. It was actually a few weeks ago. Kids were driving me crazy. It was a day after school. Kids were driving me nuts. Um, it was only about four o'clock in the afternoon and I was already doing the countdown to bedtime. You know it was one of those days. And then all of these things just started coming to me about what motherhood is to me. And it was just making me laugh. So I just thought, I need, I need to write this down. I couldn't even find paper. So look, I had to write it on a bit of envelope. Look, a bit of envelope. <laughs> I was lucky I could find a pen. So I was writing them all down. It was just cracking me up. So I thought I have to sort of like record this. But um, I was going to write it down. I thought, oh, that's going to take too long. So I'm just going to do like uh, a little video and read it out to you. Um, I'm sure a lot of you with kids will be like, oh my God, she's talking about my child. But I promise you, I'm talking about my two little ones. My little Artie, he's six now, just turned six. My little Million, he's two and a half. I call him the hydroponic storm. I love him to bits, but he's like a whirlwind. Anyway, I'm gonna read them out and I'm sure a lot of you would connect to a lot of things that I'm saying here. Okay, here it is. This is my, um, my I'll call it a poem and we'll see we'll see what comes up called motherhood is a love note to my kids so motherhood is watching your child jump around the whole room like they've got the most energy but you know they're tired motherhood is having a degree a three-year degree from university yeah you're arguing with your two-year-old about whether batman like Superman better than Lily likes Robin. I'm trying to look shocked. <gasps> when your child swears in public, like he's never done it before. Motherhood is, now I know you've done this one. Ignoring your door when your friends just pop over because they was in the area because your house is a mess. <laughs> Motherhood is having a 20 minute argument with your two year old about why he can't wear one welly and one shoe and he can't even speak English yet. Motherhood is... You've definitely done this one. Playing a game of bluff in the mornings to see who can wait it out the longest before having to get up and tend to, to the kids. Motherhood is... Oh, knowing the right combination of the rub, the blow and the kiss to fix the brokenness of any broken knees. Oh. <sighs> motherhood is being on bum watch for three whole days before you think he can wait another three months before he needs to be out of nappies it's fine they're not that expensive wiping your ass with a captive audience why are they so interested motherhood is an irrational fur of wearing white around your kids them sticky jam fingers where do they always find the jam Carrying wipes everywhere. Everywhere. Wipes can solve most most problems. Motherhood is swearing blind. You wouldn't be like your own mum and shout at your kids or use a naughty step. Only to then realise why your mum has such a loud voice. <laughs> and has a, a circle on the step for all the naughtiness that happens. Motherhood is... Looking around Sainsbury's really stunned with everyone else saying, oh, Who's that child on the floor? When you know it's your own child on the floor in the pizza aisle. Only for then grandma to come around the corner and be like, Oh my God, Artie, what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> Motherhood is 
taking a really deep breath in and reminding yourself how much you love, love your child when they break your favourite gold and pink swan necklace. Motherhood is feeding your child peanut butter, jam and chocolate spread for breakfast, for lunch and dinner because they're ill and you're worried they're not eating. Motherhood is needing six weeks notice for a simple hair wash. Even if you're not even going to the hairdressers, you're doing it at home for yourself. <laughs> you still need to book it in. <laughs> Motherhood is having the job of the accountant, the housekeeper, the cook, the cleaner, the childminder, and everything else in one day. These are all the jobs in one day. I mean, I never get paid for it. But I suppose to me, most of all, motherhood is being thankful every single day that my kids are healthy enough, and happy enough to have the energy to drive me crazy in the first place. Thank you. I'm Chantelle from Booby Bears Anonymous, the babies who love boobies. And this was my poem, Motherhood is a love note to my kids. Mwah.